Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to clean out my china cabinet. So I got this, um, I did a video on it probably like three, three years ago. I got it for a hundred dollars off of um, Facebook marketplace. I had my own hutch that I bought a couple years before. And then I, like when we first moved in, I sold it for four or five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. And I bought this one for, for one. So I profited $400. <laughs> anyway, so I just repainted it. It was like the dark cherry wood. That's besides the point. I will put the video for that where I redid it because it's like one of my absolute favorite pieces that I have. Um, but anyway, <laughs> when you have pieces like this and they have usable space, it usually becomes a catch-all for just random things. There's like, nope, like this is the dumbest thing ever. These are paint swatches. My dad works at a paint store. And so anytime I want, he's like, just work through the paint swatches. It's annoying. I have some cookbooks. Oh, look, I have some candles that the power was able to go out. Um, yeah, like, what are these? I don't even know. Strings and this. Is like was like my craft kind of space um, these were brought over from the old house that we were in I had like a little cubby space in our dining room and this is just where I've stuck bows look at all the bows I have a pack a container downstairs with a um, thing with like bags and wrapping paper so that should go downstairs but like crafts do like all my hot glue stuff is in there and then this one was like kids type things ignore that mess <laughs> kids type things i was doing like um homeschooling stuff with no before you got into the kindergarten um so it's like in these little folders but oh there's a puzzle in here paper hannah pulled this out this is dangerous to have in here a container full of paint that's not a good thing so i'm gonna go through this clean it out and I'm not gonna just put things back in here like in any spot I would like to keep this like the crayons and craft kind of thing and kind of if you saw the video where I organized my other cabinet over there I'll link that up below or up above um, I'll move the crowns and stuff in here so they can just come straight in here and look for those this I would still like it to be like where my craft stuff is um, because I know where that's at but these three definitely need to be cleaned out and I need to wipe down the outside but so I wanted to show with you guys and get some cleaning done oh if you're new to my channel this is my Goodwill station <laughs> this is all Goodwill stuff so as I've been cleaning since the beginning of the year decluttering my house I've just been putting it right here so that we can just take one full truckload at a time this will get on my nerves pretty quickly soon <laughs> um, I have like kitchen stuff kids toys clothes all that kind of stuff so eventually, we'll take a big old load to Goodwill, but right now, we're gonna tackle this. So let's go.
ignore the crumbs. I moved the table and there was tons of crumbs. So I have to vacuum once I pick all this up. Anyway, so this is all trash. Oop, not this. All right, so we have a trash pile. Not too bad. This is, what is that? Oh, this is my keep pile right here. This is my Goodwill pile. I'm keeping those. I just have to straighten them up. They're super slippery. They're the page protectors. And every time I try to stack them up, they kind of like fall. So I'm going to keep those, put them in a binder. That is the snow flocking that I used for my Christmas tree. So I need to go put that with our Christmas stuff. And then I'm going to see if my dad needs these back for work. I think last time I asked him, he said those were out of date. So it didn't matter. Um, and then these are birthday balloons, silverware, and napkins, which I keep all of that stuff. And there's candles. I keep all that stuff in the cabinet over there. So I will share with you what it looks like now. So, well, I found this. Ow, 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 ow. It's a notebook. All right. So looks 10 times better. So I have the paper, there's two folders and a, like a notebook. Um, I'm gonna go grab all of their coloring books from in the living room and put them right here. So this will fill up really quickly. But I wanted to have all that in one spot because over in the living room we have books and coloring, paper, coloring books and they kind of take up a lot of room. And then I have the paint, which I might switch with something else so that it's not right here in the front. But then this one has, this one's pretty empty, but it has like um, some fraction cards, some like sight words and stuff. And then this is the kinetic sand box. And then down here is empty. Right here I have, these are just jars I use for decoration for 4th of July. So I'm just gonna use them, leave them there. This is a sewing area, so it has a bunch of sewing stuff. And then this is just some like ramble, ramble, <laughs> random things. I don't really know what that's for. These are, you know, those thingies. These I need to put in a different drawer because I have a drawer for these. But that's pretty cleaned out. And then here is all the candles. This is, I don't even remember what I got these for. Oh, I think this was to make my wreath. So the things that you can poke through a wreath. Okay, that's what that is. <laughs> it took me a minute. But here's the candles. I guess it would be smart to leave them here. I probably should find a lighter and leave it right here. That way we would have it. But, I mean, we always have our phones. But you never know. <laughs> and then this was wrapped up in the washcloth. Zach gave it to me. Oh, I hate that there's no year on it. Oh, wait. 2009. So he was nine. <laughs> And then, or almost nine, and then he made this. I don't know what year. I don't see a year, but that's pretty cleaned out. All right. Oh, it hurts to be on my knees. And then down here is just my craft stuff. So this box um, I cleared out, and I put all the extra, like, ribbon and kind of, like, um, yarn and things like that that I had that I've used for like wreaths and stuff in there. This has like stamping things, just kind of random things that you might need for any type of craft. This is just my hot glue um, container that I just keep all my hot glue guns in a hot glue. And then this has, this is a frame, one of the frames that I use often when I set up meals. I just print off um, like what it is. So I just use picture frames. And then these are the stencils I use for my flooring and the laundry room. And then here's some extra stencils. My dad had bought these years ago for me to do something with, and I have no idea. And these are just Valentine's bags. So that's all cleaned out. So I think I did pretty good. So I'm gonna throw this stuff away, put this in the Goodwill pile, put these away, text my dad, and then vacuum. <laughs> but um, yeah. It feels good to clean out a space in your home. So I urge you, I urge you to go find somewhere in your home, declutter, go through it, figure out what you can and cannot live without. So I think a lot of times we keep things just to keep them. And I am very guilty of that. Like there's a huge pile right there. <laughs> I don't even know. I want to say that little pink thing is maybe from Hannah's baby shower. I'm not even sure, but I don't need to keep that. Like I didn't even label the bag it was in, so I don't know. 
so there's no reason to keep it if I have no idea what it's from. So I want to put all this stuff away and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.